Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. We are still on Drummond Island, picking up right where we left off. It's even still dark. Um, logged off, had dinner. It's a couple hours since I recorded last. Now let's get into it. Let's... Um, See what we're doing. We need to take the Kenny with its ability to carry three medium logs, as it states up here. And then we need to have the Kraz Chabors with its long log carrier. And we need to take all of that down here load up long logs and then cross the border to Island Lake where we will get the medium logs and then deliver everything to the sawmill. So let's make it daytime. I went past there. There it is. And get everything going. This one I can just take straight down to the gateway. And we'll come back and get the... crash bores. Everything's empty, so I can run flat out. And don't have to worry about trailers tipping over. I'd love to get these GGMS trailers more reliable. Actually, I'd like to use the... I'd like to get the um, Gooseneck GGMS trailers working well. I would much rather pull the Goosenecks if they weren't so tippy, but they'll just dump right over and spill everything too. It's just a, it's a matter of finding the right combination of things to tweak. And all you can do is make a couple changes, see how they work. And go back and make more changes based on what you're test drive showed you. This one doesn't need to load anything here. I couldn't load anything here if I wanted to. Um, because it only has long locks. Now let's run this guy down here. the all-wheel drive just to run it down the road. And I don't I don't want to start off with 
it already half broken either. And the second I fix it, I do more damage, but that's the way SnowRunner likes it. I see a shortcut. Now with this one, I can come up here and load it. One, two. Buckle my shoe, baby. Cause I got both long logs on one load. That's uh, something else you can change in the XML files. Let's get them both over to where we can get the hell off of Drummond Island. I think I can park them both in the travel area and they'll both go over. Um couple, three, four, whatever episodes back, I was talking about how if they were linked together with a tow rope, they would go both go. And one time it worked and one time it didn't. And I realized what happened the time that it didn't work. Um, they weren't both in the travel area, travel zone. Apparently, the key is not having them linked together, but having them both within the boundary of the travel area. Let's 
give it a try. Island Lake. It's kind of a nice little map. Swampy, but it's so small it doesn't take more than a few minutes to get around to places. The long logs I need to take along the southern route to the east side of the map. The mediums that I have to pick up I have to go up to the northern side of the map and go east along that road. Now, did they both come through? No. Shit. That's all right. I, I'll just take this and go get my medium logs. I got to turn here, go up this way, and go to there. So along like this, and then take the left, the right, and then finish it out coming around here to the sawmill. Sawmill. Could come around back like that. Anyways, let's move. So maybe they have to be connected by a rope and both in the travel zone. get this part of it done, the medium lock part, and then go get the crash chores for the long locks. There are more lumber areas around here. This is one right here, but uh, one we're heading for is the only one that has medium logs. Make sure I'm still doing this right. Yeah, you gotta get down there and then go up. Okay. I could just leave the road right here and go diagonally, but yeah, the road is faster. For the most part, the road, the, the swamp doesn't slow me down all that much, but there are areas where you have to hit low range and just crawl. Straight again. Hmm, uh, probably good enough. 
Cargo management. One, two, three. Do, 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 do. That brings us out by the gateway, and then you gotta travel all the way back. If I go back, uh, if I backtrack a little ways, I can get on this. Come up here, go around the corner, come right in. Typically, I would run through here at full speed, but no full speed with this load. That road, you would think that road is more friendly. It's not. Oh, what the hell? I can't get out of here without it? <sighs> Trailer is in the wrong position. Slowly. Come on. Three and one, and three up here. Some logs are placed unevenly. I didn't see any move. Uh. For fuck's sake. Oh, that's another thing I figured out with these dolly trailers. When the dolly is unlocked so you can turn corners, that weakens the struck that weakens the support of the load. Because the wheels are not underneath the load. They're sticking out at an angle in the corner. So then the whole thing flops over. Didn't I just lock the dollies? Oh, you know what? They were still locked. That's what I was going to say, is that a person should just leave the dollies locked. Okay, I certainly moved them. Let's see if I can get it to pack now. Some logs are uneven. Oh, the logs on the truck fell off. Starting to get that um, same old feeling. That feeling that I'd rather be doing something else. So, I'm not unlocking the dolly.
Ah, let's try this again. Don't let it go down in the mud hole. Okay, we got out of the logging station without dumping the logs this time. We made it more than 50 feet without dumping them. And we gotta be careful on this road too. I said I worked on the trailers, I didn't, I never said I made them bulletproof, they're better. The way they were, I couldn't go through these mud holes without tipping them. Excuse me. Drinking Diet Pepsi after dinner. I had a couple of um, a couple of jalapeno seasoned um, sausages on bread. I don't buy buns. I buy bread. I figure bread is more useful than um, buns. You can make more things with bread. I'm not going to buy both because then the, I would eat the bread and the buns would spoil. I know. I've heard it before. Freeze the buns and just take them out as you need them. Screw that. I have limited space in my freezer too. All right, let's do some cargo management. One, two, three. It's interesting how it took the truck, the back end of the trailer, then the front of the trailer. But whatever. Let's park this off to the side. We'll never need it again. Not on this map. I ain't gonna bother trying to back it in there with uh, that other trailer in the way. Just gonna shut it off. And go to Global Map and go back to Drummond Island and pick up our other truck. There it is. Now, I think I'm screwing up about where to load the long logs.
but we'll find out when we get over there. Nothing I could do about it now if I wanted to. Oh, that's right. We already got long logs. We picked them up before we came over. Duh. So I'm doing it right. It's my memory that is failing me. Now we're traveling back to Island Lake. Get to sit and wait some more. Hmm. Here we go. Now this one, I go straight across the bottom. I don't even need to put all-wheel drive on. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. I hate these fucking trailers. I don't even know where the rest of the cargo went. It's just... It... Weirded out and went everywhere. It's just flying logs everywhere. <sighs> well, you know what's next. I think I turned the wrong way at the Y back there. I think this goes up into the mountains and that over my right shoulder, driver's shoulder is what goes to the sawmill. But I guess it doesn't matter now. Thought I could maybe make one video in this series that I didn't dump blocks. Apparently, excuse me, apparently not.
should have turned a little earlier. puts both long logs in the same space. I had it set to four at one point and it wigged out. So I set it to three and it was working okay there, but it increases the weight so dramatically that the thing tips over more easily. So even two, so I set it to two and went for a spin and even two makes it tip over more easily than one. So I increased the suspension strength a little more and maybe I should have went more. Put more suspension strength in it, I don't know. but That wasn't much of a lean. I did go through the ditch a little bit back there. But it wasn't that much of a lean. If it only had one long log in it instead of two, it would have stayed upright. I'd bet money on it. Yay, we're back. Hopefully, this is the last time we'll ever have to see Drummond Island. If maybe I hadn't taken the wrong turn at the Y, um, I wouldn't have hit the ditch that made the logs tip. And we could be exploring Alaska right now. There are jobs on every region that uh, were added after I completed the regions. And you know why? Because they invented hauling logs. Saber did. So they had to go back and put jobs for logs on all the maps that I had already played because you know they were bringing it to console and opening up a whole new market and all those new players gotta have yeah, see that goes around and up the hill. Gotta have logs to haul. Excuse me. Carbonated soda. Yeah, this looks right. I knew I'd taken the wrong way before as soon as I did it, but I was hoping I was wrong and kept going but I suspected it and I was paid the price for not immediately stopping and changing my course
I can understand why they went back and introduced the new cargo game wide now just because I've been playing it the last year and a half doesn't mean that everybody else has tipped over the trailer so I could load that unit of metal should I need it because there's no you can't you can't it's packed okay so you can't pull it lift it off the trailer with a crane because it's packed so you have to hook up to the trailer but the nose of the trailer is dug into the ground so you can't just back under it either so to break the binding, I tipped it over and made it dump on the ground. Once it's on the ground, then you can load it. But I never needed to go back and load it. So it's still there. It pulls nice when, you know, you're not making it run through ditches and shit. And you can see that it's, it's more stable. Just the fact that we made it here. Finish this job. One, two. Not two trips. <laughs> That's how it was supposed to work. But I got off onto a rough road with sharp curves and deep ditches and bada yada yada yada. Okay. Except we're at 40 minutes. But I intended to do. I thought I'd finish this in like 20 minutes, you know, but I only thought I'd finish it in the previous video and the video before that and shit just keeps happening. So now we need map, oh, we're in map, global map, and we need to go to Alaska because Michigan is done. I don't think I have any vehicles on here either. No, I took, I put everything in the garage. Actually, I need to um, go back to, I need to go back and I need to retain everything. V. I can't do anything with the trailer. That's why you look at a map, all that's left all over it is is um, trailers everywhere. Lots and lots of trailers. And actually, if you're short on cash, you can make a lot of money selling trailers haul them back to a trailer store and sell them i made um over 50,000 it was like 52 or 53,000 one time for 30 minutes worth of 
hauling trailers back to the trailer store and selling them. And that was that was just emptying out one map. Now retain. Then do map global map. Um, there's one more. It tells you there's a truck on Island Lake. So you can go to the map. Um, hop into the truck, which I parked over here. The only thing is, like this, there is no garage on Island Lake. There's no garage on Drummond Island. So any map with no garage is going to make you sit here and wait for loading screens. was lagging at first and then it did it twice. See, now back to Smithville Dam. I probably shouldn't even bother, you know, given that I have like 87 million to buy more trucks with. Force a habit, I guess, from the early days when I didn't have $87 million, I might have $87. So to have a truck in the next region, i got to retain them. And if you're not sure what you might have sitting around, you can look at trucks and trailers. There's nothing on this map but trailers. Nothing on Island Lake. There's two on Drummond Island, which also doesn't have a garage. There's two on Black River, which does have a garage. So this is what I'm going to be doing for the next few minutes. There's the Dramas and a Kraz. I thought we might all together take a look at what's on um, the jobs on Alaska is why I have not just ended the video. I suppose I could do this and then come back and show you what's on Alaska. Well, it was kind of a waste of gigabytes to sit through all these loading screens. I mean, it could take the few minutes it takes to do this could end up taking five or six more hours of uploading. Hell, we're almost done now. I'll be right back.
Kraz Jabors. I'd like to set fire to these trailers. Now a person could drive around and delete all the trailers, but what's the point in that? You're not getting any cash back for them that way. So I just leave them sit. And that one's on its way. This is why I have like 40 trucks in my storage. Because on the live server, I never go from one region to the other without taking all my vehicles with me. Um, you know, what you, What if you get on a Russian map that won't allow you to purchase a U.S. truck or vice versa? Well, I look in my storage and maybe I've got it there. Gone and map, global map. Um, Smithville Dam done, from an island done, Island Lake done. So, Black River got a Kenny 12 by 12 and a ten, Kenny 10 by 10 and a Kras Chabors, but it'll be a lot quicker here. There's no waiting for the map to load. It does not matter which garage you retain them to. You could use six different garages to retain your trucks. But as long as they're retained, they're all going to go with you. Even if you're playing co-op. Um, long time ago, when I was more new to the game, I knew a big deal famous YouTube dude that played all sorts of games, uh, primarily World of Warships, but he'd been playing World of Warships so long he was sick of it, kind of like I'm sick of this one now. Um, yet I'm laying there watching TV and I feel the urge to come back and play it even though I just proclaimed I hate the game and all that. Two hours later, I need to come over here and play it again. <sighs> now I'll show you how this is quicker. We just jump in the next truck. Catch, recover, there it is. Next. That's the one I was testing the trailers with. I never use it for a job, I just tested the modifications, the tweaks. And now, I'm not leaving any vehicles behind if I go ahead and do this. And, of course, there's no vehicles to jump into, so we have to go to Zigaraj, which I could have just done. But I wanted to just look at them, take a look at the map before I sat and waited for another loading screen. We're at 53 minutes now instead of 45. I could have said, see you next time <laughs> at 45. It's, it's 
it's only eight minutes, but Go to storage. Uh, I was gonna say, let's take. I was thinking, let's take out a um, take out a scout vehicle, but just to see what what's going on. So no tasks. And this should be done, and this should be done. Yep. So the only thing is whatever, whatever they stuck in GR Enterprise, and you can bet it's logs, or, um, or airplane wings, or whatever. Whatever's new to the game. Logs. Look at that. Too medium. Too long. From White oh, to White Valley. It's a long way to the top. That was my controller. Too medium, too long. Same as the previous job. One long, too medium. That's on this map. Far, far away. One long, one medium to Pedro Bay. And then this is other new jobs that they put on further back. Oversized cargo to Mountain River. Oversized cargo, Mountain River. Pedro Bay, slabs and cement. Slab and cement, metal beam, two concrete slab, car container, car container. So those three are all White Valley, three White Valley, three Pedro Bay, and two Mountain River. Holy crap, we're going to be on this one for a while. Cargoopolis, three large pipe. Four concrete block. Well, I could do the four block and one large pipe in one load, and then both the other large pipe in a second load. So I could do that in two loads instead of one, two, three, four. Far, far away. Long logs and medium logs. And complete cargo apocalypse one to do two. Eight brick or concrete slab. Well, on an eight spot, that's one load. And on an eight spot, that's one load. Yeah, two, four, six, eight. Mm -hmm. And eight. So that's two loads on eight spot trailers. All right, well, let's give you a, a view of the outside world with the lights on. Ah, oh, it went and turned itself off. Come on. Ah, and then I pushed the camera instead of the throttle. I need to go to sleep. It's almost nine. Have a couple popsicles for for a snack. Go to sleep. Beautiful world, this Alaska. Here. I haven't done any good mountain climbing lately, so I'll leave you with a parting shot, so to speak. Ooh, there's a 
taller peak over there. Don't you wish you had a truck that could do this? <laughs> thinking, what's he going to do when he gets up here? Well, he'll do that. <laughs> it just, just doesn't matter. The crowds don't care. Those other Mon Peaks are probably out of the... Um, Boundary, map boundary, that's what I'm trying to think of. Looky there. Yeehaw! <laughs> I'll leave it like this. Nose high, baby. <laughs> or should we teeter totter it? Oh, a little bit more to make it perfect. Come on back. Is it going to come back? Come on. Settle down level. Trying to get reverse to take hold. There we go. Now only two wheels are touching the rock. Bet you wish you had a truck you could teeter-totter on the center axle. None of the rest have a center axle. All right. I've goofed around enough. But I had to show off for rock climbing. Pretty country. There's something way up there. It must be a waterfall. Building down there. A drill rig, offshore drill rig you can't get to. Oh yeah, that's a, a warehouse that's way at the end of this long, terrible road. It's easy to go over the mountaintop. But, cool view. The teeter tottering Kraz Chabors. You know, if I move the crane round and around in a circle, it would change the uh, the balance of the truck. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.